Okay, that was way better than I thought it was going to be. Miss Marvel is the newest Disney plus Marvel Cinematic Universe show focused on Kamala Khan, AKA Miss Marvel. This is a character I didn't know a ton about until the newest Avengers game that was on PlayStation 4 that I played. And her story in that was pretty sweet and innocent and she was very endearing as a character and I actually grew quite fond of her in that game. Her powers are really cool, her background as an inhuman, I kind of miss. I was a little bit nervous about the show based on the first trailer and her them completely changing uh, her powers, uh, the, her origin, in the sense of Inhumans were done on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the canon status of that is murky. While I argue that the four, first four seasons of that are canon to the MCU quite easily, the movies never really acknowledge the whole Inhuman subplot of the show and I think that's why they're probably ignoring it here in Ms. Marvel because it wouldn't really work. That being said, I'm still intrigued by what they're going to do with it and maybe they can convince me otherwise that this new origin for her powers is worthwhile. Now that that's out of the way, I love this. It was actually pretty refreshing stylistically. Um, every performance, every piece of dialogue, every visual flair, and even every bit of cinematography uh, in the movements of the camera and the editing style is just bursting with imagination and energy and personality. Sometimes the MCU can feel very samey in how they're filmed and approached and how they look and how they kind of play out. And I feel really encouraged by this first one. I'm a huge Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm a huge MCU fan. In a time where phase four offers us a lot of different things, it's been a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I'm overall pretty positive with everything that's come out, but when it's hit lows, the lows have been really disappointing. And I'm pleasantly surprised. Kamala's story is very relatable. Honestly, I laughed, I enjoyed it, I smiled, I kind of bopped my head to the awesome soundtrack. The visuals are cool, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. It's a very personal first episode that really establishes um, her as a character and her family dynamic. And that's gonna be the core of the show, which I really appreciate. Well, I'm in understand being the biggest fan of Captain Marvel, as that's probably my weakest MCU film, in my opinion. I can understand why a young girl would feel like she would be a huge role model and hero to her. So seeing the MCU in its own world through the eyes of a young teenager, it's pretty cool. And I'm just curious enough to be able to say I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in the story. But really, I just appreciate the journey she's on so far. So I really enjoyed it. There is a mid credit scene in this episode. It's kind of wild to me how these episodes say there's 49 minutes and then there's like eight minutes of credits. That's longer than some feature films credits. Now granted, there is that credit scene and spoilers. I'm not really sure what they're hinting at here. And sometimes these mid credit scenes kind of just offer this like, oh, this is something. It must be something, right? Without really cluing you into what it is. So I always wonder if that would be better saved for the next episode when they do it like that. They do it in the movies too. Multiverse of Madness did that. And I'm just not quite sure how I feel about it, but it's okay. I'm still intrigued. It's not, it's not a huge deal. It seems that the basic premise of her powers is the same with the whole stretchiness, but the embiggen thing that she does with her limbs seems to be like an energy projection from the gauntlet and the whole thing she can like project energy under her feet. I'm, I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I feel like that loses some of what the character actually has in terms of her abilities, but it doesn't seem to be taking away from who she, who she actually is as a person within the context of the show. And reading the behind the scenes about how the actress is such a huge Marvel fan and lectures Kevin Feige on what is the 616 universe and what the MCU universe really is and getting mad at Tom Holland for spoiling No Way Home for her. I just think that's really adorable. Knowing that she's a fan, you can see her enthusiasm come through in every frame that she's in. Have you seen the first episode of Ms. Marvel? What did you think about it? There's not a ton to talk about yet, as it's mainly a character study, but it's really fun so far. It's a breath of fresh air and uh, just pretty refreshing overall. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And remember, always look for the good.